today we're going to talk about preparing a stove for repainting or touching up. And it's a painted stove where our objective here is to get the surface ready for accepting new paint, whether to change the color or to touch up some, some scratches that may be on the stove. The first thing we talk about every time we talk about doing this type of work is your safety. Safety glasses are a key feature for you to protect your eyes from dust, debris, and other things that are going to be involved in this project. The other that we might suggest is a long sleeve shirt. Gives you protection on your arms, kind of keeps you clean. Um, you don't really need that for this project, but it might be something to make you comfortable. What we're talking about is the Stove Right User Guide, and we've been talking about surface preparation, the very first step in getting the stove ready to be painted, and then we'll be talking later about application of the paint. There are basically two ways to go about this project. One is to use a Scotch-Brite pad of a fine grit, or not a coarse Scotch-Brite pad, and the other is to use a fine grit sandpaper. A key part of getting success with this project is using that to just rough up the surface and then use your paint prep product to wipe down the surface to pick up the debris from that sanding. One other thing to notice before you even start with the project, I recommend that you get a can of the Stove Right paint and you test that paint on the painted surface of the stove to be sure that it doesn't bubble or lift the previous paint. If it bubbles or lifts the previous paint, you have a bigger project in front of you because you'll want to remove that other paint before applying the Stove Right paint because of that bubbling or that interaction of the chemical chemicals. For a stove that's been painted with Stove Right in the past, you don't need to do anything but scuff the surface, be sure it's clean with the wipe down, and you're ready to paint with the Stove Right paint. So what we're going to do is prepare this previously painted surface, and as we mentioned in the introduction, we're going to test before we do this. But I've determined this is good paint that's compatible with my paint, so I'm going to go ahead and use a Scotch-Brite pad, and I'm just going to scuff the surface. And as I scuff the surface, all I'm doing is pulling up some of that nice smooth paint to make a rougher surface for my, my new paint to attach to. Now once I've scuffed that surface, I'm going to scuff the entire area that I'm going to paint, and then I'm going to go back over that. And you'll see in a moment here, it doesn't look like much, but when I take my clean white cloth here, and I put a little paint prep on there, and I wipe, you'll see that that paint prep is picking up the debris, the leftover dust, if you will, the paint dust, from where I scuffed the surface. And that's important to pick that up because you want a nice clean substrate ready to accept the paint. So I have a previously painted surface. What I'm going to do is scuff that previously painted surface. And what I'm using now is a light grit or fine grit sandpaper. Again, we're not trying to remove the paint. We're just trying to rough it up a little bit so that it can accept the new paint and the new paint can stick to this painted surface. So I've scuffed it and you can see there's a little bit of debris on the sandpaper. There's also debris still on the surface of this stove. So what I'm going to do is take my white cloth here and a little bit of our paint prep spray that on the cloth and wipe. I can spray it directly on the, on the stove itself if I'd like, but you can see I'm picking up quite a bit of debris, and what I want to do is do that for the entire stove when I get ready to paint.